Hello and welcome back. Today I want to talk about SAP Activate Methodology Implementation Roadmap. Simply put, this refers to a structured approach to the software implementation process. It allows work to be split into distinct phases with deliverables and tasks that help project teams to better plan, execute, and manage their implementation project. The six phases defined by SAP Activate Methodology Implementation Roadmaps are the discovery phase, we have the prepare phase, we also have the explore phase, realize, deploy, and then we have the run phase. The aim of SAP Activate Methodology Implementation Roadmap is to, among other things, provide implementation project teams with a recommended list of deliverables in each of the phases. And this is a what of the project. It also provides a process description in the form of tasks, and this is the how, and then accelerators such as templates, examples, guides, web links, and all these are presented in a user-friendly format. Some of the key terms that we have in SAP Activate Methodology Roadmap are faces, and these refers to stages of a project. We also have work stream, which is a collection of related deliverables. Then we have the deliverables, which are defined as the outcome that is delivered during the course of the project. We have tasks, task being work that is actually performed. And you could have one or several tasks. Then finally, we have the accelerators, which is a document, it could also be a template, or even a web link that helps uh, the consultants or anyone who is working on the project to work faster and uh, with less effort. So let's go over to the browser to have a look at the Activate methodology in action. This is the Activate homepage, and since we are not logged in as S users, we don't see a lot of tiles, but at least we have four tiles here. So the first one is the welcome tile. We have the general tile, then we have the solution specific tile. And down here we have the learn more tile, and this is great content for introduction into SAP S4 HANA. So we are going to click on the general and drill down on that. And here we have one of the roadmaps that we have is SAP Activate Methodology for New Cloud Implementation. That is public cloud, and that's general. So if we click on that, then it gets us to this page here. And it's necessary to note this statement here, which says that this roadmap is intended for SAP cloud solutions that do not have solution specific roadmaps. So if your solution had a solution, needed a solution specific roadmap, then you need to go back to the solutions specific tile and you can get your roadmap over there. So going back to activate methodology for cloud implementation, this is the roadmap that we talked about earlier. And some of the phases that we looked at, we had the discovery phase, the prepare phase, explore, then we have realize, deploy, and the run phase. These are the swim lanes, and these are different groups, and each group has its own swim lane. So going down to discover, phase. This is where you, some of the key things that, or key activities that happen here is the discovery or um, identification of your stakeholders. This also the value discovery. Then you get the cloud trial from SAP, where you learn about the functionality of the SAP cloud solution that you are implementing. Then there is a discovery assessment that also happens here. And 
the discovery assessment captures project scope to generate a scoping report that is used in subsequent phases. Scrolling down, we have the prepare phase. And in the prepare phase, uh, we do the some of the key tasks here are system provisioning. We have project initiation and governance. Then uh, we have the customer team self enablement where you uh, get them exposed to learning materials and uh, make sure that the key user has access to SAP Marketplace uh, because there's a lot of content that they would need for the project. And then we have to come up with the change management roadmap in this phase, the prepare phase. And then we get uh, the other thing that is important is the demo system initial access. We need to create users because the next stage or the next phase uh, we would need that to do the, we would need the demo system for fit to start that assessment or analysis. The next phase is the explore phase. And at this level, you continue with execution and monitoring of the project. You also define your communication plan. You know, you do also the stakeholder analysis and change management impact analysis. And other things that you do at this stage are solution definition and integration, and also the extension planning design. And this is also the stage where you do the fit to started workshops. You also do end user learning needs analysis, uh, test planning and release planning. So at this stage also, you need to go ahead and request the quality system from SAP because you're going to need the quality system as you move to the realized phase. So the realized phase, as you can see here, these are some of the activities that you do have. Uh, during this phase, you actually do receive, you, do receive and prepare viable quality system and configure it to a production-like environment. This is where you're going to be performing your solution configuration, uh, enable customer reports, prepare learning content, as other tasks that you need to do. Then you also need to do cutover plan and documentation uh, to make sure that that is all prepared. Finally, you also have to uh, request for production system and set it up and receive all the, you know, the credentials that you would need to have it all ready to go. Another important task that is done is setting up solution extension deployment on the production system. Uh, those are uh, things that you do in this uh, phase, the realized phase. So finally, there's going to be um, the deploy phase. And this is where we deploy the pilot and let user learning. We also execute the cut over, uh, cut over plan. And then we conduct the hard over and provide live support. Then finally, um, we have the run phase and uh, the run phase is more of uh, monitoring user adoption, executing continuous learning, and also conducting ongoing enablement of, your, uh, of the users. So those, that's a very quick run of the activate methodology. And as mentioned earlier, there are also other accelerators that you use. So for each of these phases, there are accelerators that you can use to, uh, you know, as templates to build some of the solutions or some of the deliverables that you need to deliver. So I'm gonna go very quick to the contact, content area here. And some of the things that we just talked about, if you want to see that in details, under discover, you have this stakeholder identification, you know, the tasks that are done under discover, things that are done under prepare, you know, a list of these deliverables and tasks and all the way down to, to, to the run phase, you know, the continuous learning, monitoring user adoption, execution of continuous learning. So you get that, uh, that under content. Then, as I mentioned earlier, accelerators. These are accelerators for each of the phases. Uh, for example, the prepare phase. 
one of the accelerators is the checklist template introduction. So you can click on that and that is downloaded. So let us look at one of the accelerators that I downloaded. And this is quality built in global quality gate checklist. And this is some of the information related to the project that need to be filled out. Then we go to prepare, we have the checklist item. This is a key deliverable. You have the titles here, the topic. We have whether this is a mandatory, whether it's an optional, optional. then set starters, action plan, you assign owners to each of the actions, and then the due date. And then you have, you know, the actual deliverables, deliverables here, the roles and responsibilities, steering committee, and you have the questions that need to be answered. So these are documents that you download and they are called accelerators because they make your work much easier. You don't have to prepare these spreadsheets because they're already prepared. So this brings us to the end of the introduction to SAP Activate Methodology Implementation Roadmap. So in the next lesson, we'll do a deep dive into each of the phases and look at each of the deliverables, tasks, and accelerators in detail. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more content on SAP S4HANA. See you in the next video.